MATLAB is actually master lets you read from or write to memory locations on FPGA and SOC boards directly from your MATLAB session. This capability is useful when you would like to control testing on FPGA or SOC boards from MATLAB. Examples for when you could use this include parametric tuning of hardware designs, such as for adjusting gains in a control system, or loading large data files from a MATLAB session into onboard DDR memories. For instance, you could load image data for a vision application or waveforms used in communications applications. Two ways to use MATLAB as Axie Master are shown here. I can use MATLAB to access off-chip DDR memories, and second, I can use MATLAB to communicate with IP cores, also known as intellectual property cores. In either case, the MATLAB as Axie Master IP communicates via Axie accessible registers. The MATLAB session communicates with the hardware over a cable plugged into the FPGA board. We'll run through an example that targets a DECA MAX-10 kit from Aero Electronics, which has an Intel MAX-10 FPGA. First, you'll need to download and install two hardware support packages, the HDL Verifier support package for Intel FPGAs, and also the HDL Coder support package for Intel SOC devices. You will also need to have Intel Cordis installed. In this example, we use MATLAB to control an IP core running in hardware. This example comes in the documentation, so you can work through it on your own. The design is quite simple. It's an 8-bit up-down counter. The count is displayed on a bank of 8 LEDs on the Aero DECA board. The counter will be the design under test, or DUT. It has two inputs, a 4-bit number that controls the frequency or rate of the counter, and a binary number that controls whether it's counting up or down. The output is the 8-bit count value. The system test bench has controls for two DUT inputs, a slider that can be used to control the frequency of the counter, and a toggle switch that can be used to control the direction. We can run a simulation and interact with the counter using these controls. In the scope, we see the counter starts counting down. We can decrease the counter frequency using the slider, and we can change the direction of the counting with the toggle. Next, we will generate the IP core for the DUT. Before we can start, we need to add the reference design files used in this example to the MATLAB path, and we also need to set up the Intel Cordis toolpath. Then we can open HDL Workflow Advisor. In step 1.1, we specify the IP core generation workflow and select the Aero DECA MAX-10 kit as the target platform. In step 1.2, we select the reference design for MATLAB as Axie Master. Then in step 1.3, we assign the register ports. The blink frequency and direction will be controlled in MATLAB and passed by the AXI4 interface of the IP core via JTAG. The readback value will be passed back to MATLAB via JTAG. Notice that the address offsets are generated automatically. We then run through the process of HDL code generation in step 3. Here we can view the IP core generation report. We can scroll down through the report to view the register address mapping table. We will use these address offsets when we control the IP core for MATLAB. Once we complete this step, we can run all the way to step 4.2 to prepare the bitstream. Workflow Advisor runs scripts that drive Cordis to compile the design along with a MATLAB is Axie Master IP core and produces a bitstream. Once Cordis has completed generation of the bitstream, we can program the DECA board from Workflow Advisor. When the bitstream is loaded, the board's LEDs immediately begin counting. We need to know the address offsets and values, so we refer to the IP core generation report to view the register address mapping. We can see that the IP core enable register can be used to enable or disable the core. Writing a value of zero with an address offset of four should disable the counter. Let's give that a try. First, we create the Axie master object to start using MATLAB to control the IP core. And then we enter the command to write the zero value with an offset of four. The LEDs show that the counter has halted. To re-enable the counter, we write a 1 to the same register. A nice way to simplify these controls is to create a MATLAB app as a console for interacting with the IP core. We can use a toggle switch to enable and disable the counter, and another toggle switch to change the direction of the counter. We can use the slider to change the frequency, which speeds up the counter. And we can then reset the counter by clicking on the reset button. For further information, review the examples and documentation for MATLAB as Axie Master.